Now, don't get me wrong. I already know that the Jets are a good team. Many expected the Jets to be a legitimate Super Bowl contender to start the season, and that hope was only doused by the Aaron Rodgers injury. Or was it? The Jets have beaten some pretty good teams while treading water and staying alive in the playoff race, even with Zach Wilson at quarterback. Rodgers has been seen without crutches and has been somewhat vocal about the possibility of being ready to go should the Jets make the playoffs. The question I have is, if Zach Wilson plays all 17 games and leads the Jets to a very achievable 10-win season, should the team then pull the rug out from underneath him and insert a rusty Rodgers just coming off an Achilles injury? Now, before you answer that question with the hell yes, Jets fans, I have something here to give you pause. I draw your attention to the 1999-2000 NFL season and the Buffalo Bills. The Bills have two quarterbacks, one in the highly unpopular Rob Johnson, and the other is fan favorite Doug Flutie. The Bills decided on Flutie to start the season, and he plays every game except week three due to an injury, with Johnson taking over and leading the team to a victory. Flutie then leads the Bills to victories in seven of their final nine games, including a three-game streak to end the season and clinch a playoff spot. Then, just as Bills fans were catching Flutie mania, head coach Wade Phillips makes one of the most dumbfounding moves you could ever imagine as he names Johnson the starter for the team's wildcard game against the Titans. Yes, that game, the Music City Miracle. With fans fuming, Johnson goes 10 for 22 for 131 yards, gets sacked six times, and fumbles three times, losing one. Now, he does lead the team on a six-play 38-yard drive that led to a field goal to put Buffalo up by one before the football gods displayed their anger and karma reared its ugly head and the Titans ran that kickoff back for a touchdown in one of the most famous plays in NFL history. Now, I know to Jets fans, it sounds crazy that the team would even consider sitting a healthy Rodgers on wildcard weekend. But in my opinion, if Wilson gets you there, he deserves to play. Of course, I'm a Finns fan, and with the very real possibility of a Jets-Dolphins matchup in the first round, of course I'd rather see Wilson than Rodgers. Maybe Rodgers pulls a Marino-esque game in his return to play, or maybe New York angers the football gods like Buffalo did, and history repeats itself.